The catapult field, the interactions of the two magnetic fields produces a resultant field known as the catapult field as shown in the figure below. Okay. First, I will explain to you how this field is produced. Okay, how this catapult field is produced. And uh, sometimes in the exam, uh, they may ask you to draw the catapult field. So you need to know uh, how this field is produced and how to draw this catapult field. Eh? Okay, now let's go to the whiteboard. And uh, let's say we have uh, two magnet. This is a north and this is a south. And then we have a conductor. Uh, let's say we use a cross. A cross which shows that the currents move inside. Yeah? Move inside. Okay. So for the uh, magnetic field of the permanent magnet. Eh? Okay. The field of the magnet. The field is from left to right. Right. Okay. The field is from left to right because the field always move from a north pole to south pole. Eh? So the field is from left to right. Now this is a current carrying conductor, okay? So the current move inside. In previous lessons, we have learned that when there is a current flow in the conductor, then uh, there will be a magnetic field generated around this uh, conductor, right? And this is a straight wire. This one is a straight wire. And if you still remember, if you have a straight wire, then uh, the fields generated will be a circle, okay? It's a circle, sir around this uh, straight wire. So that is the field patterns. So for this one also, uh, it's the same thing, okay? So uh, a magnetic field will be produced, uh, okay? Around this uh, conductor, okay? Uh, can any of you tell me what's the directions of the field? Clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay? Clockwise or uh, anti-clockwise? The directions of the field. How you determine the directions of the field? What's the method that you can use to determine the directions of the field for a straight wire like this? We use right hand grip rule, right? So by using right hand grip rules, you just imagine that your thumb point, make sure that you use your right hand, okay? Your right hand, your thumb point inwards, okay? And then uh, your all other fingers, this your other fingers. Okay, so your thumb point inside okay so the other finger shows the directions of the field right so it shows that uh, the field is uh, clockwise now we have two magnetic field now right one is the magnetic fields of the uh, permanent magnet which is uh, orange in color another one is the magnetic field of uh, the straight wire this is electromagnet eh? okay the magnetic of field of the straight wire now these two magnetic field it will uh, interact, okay? They will interact, and then they will combine together. Interact, combines together. But after the interactions, eh, so what will happen to these two fields? Now you must see the directions of the field. Eh? The directions of the field. Uh, let's see this side. Eh? You can see that at this side, the two field are in the same directions. Both are pointing to the right. So for magnetic fields, uh, if the two fields have same directions, uh, it will make the field become stronger. It will make the field become stronger. Uh, so it will produce a stronger field. It will produce a stronger field around this area. Let's put this S here, okay? It's a stronger field around this area. And then uh, let's see this part of the field. You, you can see that uh, the field is in the opposite directions okay the green one point to the left and then the the orange ones uh, point to the right so they are in opposite directions so if they are in opposite directions this will make the field become weaker so we have a weak field here weak field okay strong field here weak field here uh if you still remember okay i told you that in previous lessons i told you that the strength of the field is represented by how close the field line is. Okay, if the field lines are very close to each other, this is a strong field. If they are very far from each other, this is a weak field, right? Strong field, weak field. So we use the distance between the lines uh, to represent the strength of the field. So uh, here again, we are going to use this the the distance between the lines. Uh, to uh to represent the strong and the weak field 